All right, big news has happened. Uh, reporting now, we do not have a trade agreement by any means, but here's what we do have. We have the agreement that Deshaun Watson plans to, tra to waive his no trade clause to the Cleveland Browns. So while it seemed like the Browns were out at a certain point, Browns not just back in, but it seems like that's where Watson wants to go. And that's where things get very interesting, right? Because Deshaun Watson can simply just sit here and say, I'm going there. That's the one place I'm going. So in a weird way, like how much leverage does Houston have? You know, you're going to think, all right, well, you're going to have a good amount of draft capital for this. Uh, obviously, at the end of the day, like Houston can always just say, like, we don't have to trade you. So you're going to go up something, but you might not necessarily get as much as, you know, potentially you would have had it just been a pure open market decision, uh, which is where things get very interesting. You know, that no trade clause really coming in handy for Deshaun Watson, no pun intended. Uh, that was not what I meant to say there. Uh, let's just move on. Um, I mean, this is a, it's a, an interesting situation here with the Deshaun Watson stuff. Um, I, I think, so my opinion on this, let's talk about the weirdness of it for a second. Obviously, Deshaun Watson has been accused of uh, sexually harassing uh, I don't know the exact terminology, sexual assault, I, I, I believe is what it is. Uh, I'm not a not a lawyer. I don't know the exact term, uh, but of uh, over 20 uh, massage therapists. And that stuff is, it's weird. I don't like talking about it. It's, I like talking about football. That's what we do here. Uh, so because of that, obviously things are just weird here. And I think for some Browns fans, they might be saying, listen, we weren't the best, but we were still competitive. At least, you know, Baker Mayfield, say what you want about him. He's a fun guy to root for, whereas uh, Deshaun Watson might not necessarily have that warm and fuzzy feeling, uh, which I can I, I can get behind. Uh, at the same time, some Browns fans might be saying, like, listen, I watch football because I like football, and he's a good football player. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to, you know, still root for my team because I like him. And I'm assuming if you're a Browns fan, you still like all the other, you know, none of the other guys on the roster, I assume, have done anything like that. So uh, even that's the case. And also, like, the other aspect is we do live in America where people get second chances and not just second chances where you're innocent until proven guilty. He wasn't found proven. He wasn't proven to be guilty, uh, although you can still look at the evidence and say it leans that way. But uh, that's how some people feel. So that's where, again, things get very weird here. But listen, uh, I'd rather live in a country where, you know, people do get extra chances than people don't. So that's that's where we're at right now. And I, I don't think that it's a bad thing that people do get those extra chances. Although, again, I understand if you're a Browns fan, like if you're someone who's like, hey, uh, you know, I don't like this. I don't want to be a Browns fan anymore. I'm not mad at you. If you're someone who's excited because your favorite team got a franchise quarterback, I'm not mad at you either. I, I get it. I, I you know. Uh, I remember when the Buccaneers were potentially in the running, I, I was having conflicting thoughts about it. So uh, let's talk about the football side of things now. Now that we got, you know, it would have felt weird to not mention that stuff, but let's talk about just pure football here. Um, the Cleveland Browns are a legit championship contender, right? How many championship contenders are in the AFC? They can't all be championship contenders, right? Man, that that AFC is going to be a good... The, the wild card teams, uh, like the first round matchups are going to be like just insane in that division. I mean, the Cleveland Browns who have... I'll say this about the Browns. Like, I still think they could use another receiver. Uh, you know, obviously, Amari Cooper, that helps a lot. But uh, they could still use something. And, and we don't know what they gave up yet. They they might be giving up some, you know, like when Russell Wilson got traded, that was a similar situation. Wilson said, I'm only going to go to Denver. Maybe Denver knew that, maybe they didn't. But, uh, you know, still, they had to give up a decent amount, and they had to give up uh, actual players. Maybe something similar is happening with Cleveland. Maybe they're going to give up some of their young, good players. Maybe Greg Newsom is in on this trade or something like that. So you could definitely see this happening. There's also the, you know, the sort of domino effect of Baker Mayfield is now an attractive option where you'll get some value for Baker Mayfield. A, a Indianapolis Colts will definitely go after a Baker Mayfield. I, I can see that happening. So that's another uh, fun little wrinkle here. But back to the, uh, you know, just what Deshaun Watson brings to this team. Like, he's going to bring a ton, right? And you think about, like, he is someone who he'll run an RPO every now and then, too. So getting him involved in the running game a little bit with Nick Chubb, that's going to be a lot of fun to watch. This offense should be rolling. It's a quarterback-driven league. You need an elite quarterback to have success. Uh, there's no denying that. So for Cleveland, uh, again, on the football field, this is a great move, and it should be a lot of fun to watch. I think he does fit that Stefanski offense pretty well on top of it, and their defense is really good. Brown's defense is legit. So this is an honest championship contender, and when you think about 
the Browns, who are in a division with uh, a team like the Ravens, who are very good, right? And they've, they've been adding assets this offseason. Um, you also have the Steelers, who they're in a rebuilding year. There's no denying that. And, of course, the Bengals, who were a win away, uh, you know, just a few minutes away. I mean, at the two-minute warning, they led in the Super Bowl. So they're clearly legit. But you can make the argument the Browns are the best one here with this move. I mean, last year, my hot take in the offseason was I think the Brown, I thought the Browns were going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they miss, I said, you know, only a sort of a, a tier three quarterback type play, but I think that adding someone like, uh, you know, or, but still the rest of the talent they had, I figured, you know what, this is going to be a Super Bowl contender. Now, there's several reasons that didn't work out, right? It wasn't just because of the Baker Mayfield went down. Uh, obviously, the receiving core was not what you were expecting, so that also was a factor there. Uh, and, you know, with the Deshaun Watson uh, addition, it's like, okay, you're having this roster who kind of was considered, at least by me, to be a, a championship contending roster, but you know, even with maybe not superstar quarterback stuff, instead, uh, you now have a superstar quarterback here that can already be with a good roster. And this is a team that I wouldn't be shocked that they win it all next year. I don't think that's crazy. And listen, if you're a general manager, you can sit here and say like, uh, my goal here is to win a Super Bowl. That's what I've been doing here, trying to win a Super Bowl. That's what I've always dreamed of. This is my opportunity. I'm going to take it. So I, I get it. I uh, also see the Browns are apparently giving Deshaun Watson a new deal. So they're going to give him some more money, perhaps. Uh, 184 over the first four years of the contract, which is a $48 million raise of what he was scheduled to make or a $12 million a year raise so trying to do quick math here so what is that so it's under 50 million but over 40 million 184 let me use the uh the good old calculator here 184 divided by four i'm sure some math fans here in the ch uh watching live are going to be like what, what are you doing what why why is it why is you so bad at this 46 million a year so close to Mah basically getting the homes money uh so listen from a football perspective, uh, I get it. We also see uh, Austin Hooper has been signed at the Titans, so that's also happened. Uh, so from a football perspective, I think this is a great move. Like, it should always be the first question every offseason is, can we get a better quarterback? Because the better quarterback you have, the better chances you have of winning a Super Bowl. And quite frankly, Deshaun Watson helps them win a Super Bowl. He does. That's just the end of the conversation. So uh, as a Buccaneers fan who – seemed like the three teams that Watson was considering were all the three other teams in the NFC South. I'm happy he's in the AFC. This stupid AFC. I mean, the AFC North should be the best division in football. It's not even the best division in its own conference because of this stupid AFC West. Uh, just, uh, just a loaded uh, conference there. And then there's like the Jaguars. Uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at there in the AFC. So it should be interesting stuff. Uh, what do you guys think of this move? Let me know in the comments below. And, and again, should be mentioned once again, has not been done. It's not official just yet because there hasn't been a trade. Just Watson has announced this is the team I'm willing to get traded to, and he's only announced one team. So that that basically Watson has made his decision. Now we'll see uh, what the compensation is. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.